morning friends and in this video we are going to solve the remaining questions of the exercise 7.4 NCERT textbook prescribed by the CBSC students all across the world. Now here we are at the question number 16, the remaining questions of this exercise we have solved in the previous video. If you haven't watched them just watch them and same times also memorize the formulas because without the formulas of the trigonometrical identities, algebraical identities and at the same time some inverse trigonometric functions along with the formulas of the differentiation if these formulas are not at the tip of your tongue you will face a real problem now here the question number 16 this goes find the integral of 4x plus 1 over square root of 2x square plus x plus 1 it means you can attribute this form as the form where the, the numerator is a linear polynomial or x plus b x plus c 4x plus 1 and this is this one you can take it as a linear polynomial and this is a quadratic polynomial in this particular standard form what you have to do that i'm discussing the method also so what you are required to do that you have to assume 4x plus 1 means numerator is equals a times differentiation of the polynomial which is in the quadratic uh, polynomial which is in the denominator that is 2x square plus x plus 3 plus b another constant now differentiate so this is a 4x plus 1 plus b now 4ax plus a plus b means I'm grouping them one with the variable x and other with constant terms and this is 4x plus 1 so let's, let me explain you again 2x square differentiation is 4x plus 1 3 differentiation is still as constant now if you compare the coefficients what you find that 4 is 4a it means a is 1 then you find a plus b as 1 constant term a plus b and this is also constant so a plus b is 1 and if a is 1 so b is 0 it means your integration is directly can be written b is 0 means you could have without using this I could have written this as if you take this one as t so under root t then your dt will be 4x plus 1 times dt or at the place of okay let me go in a very similar way because then 4x plus 1 I can write this as 4x plus 1 this one I am writing 4x plus 1 this a is there b is 0 so just write 4x plus 1 upon under root 2x square plus x plus 3 dx actually every time this is not the exact differentiation because this time we are finding b as 0 i thought initially that we will have some numerical value for the b other than 0 that's why i adopted this method otherwise if you go by proper substitution and if you take 2x square plus x plus 3 as t so you will get this 4x plus 1 which is nothing but the differentiation of this expression so your form directly is going in the form of dt over under root t and that is integration of t to the power minus half dt and on integration this gives you minus half plus 1 over minus half plus 1 and that gives you t to the power half over half this you can write as 2 and at the place of t to the power half you better write this 2x square plus x plus 3 and the seal constant of integration this is your answer now I take another example question number 7 not example question number 17 now here I have a question number 17 which is find the integral of under root x plus 2 over under root x minus 1 then now you see that this x under root x minus 1 is not 
in the quadratic form uh, either I have copied the question wrong or even this is a different question but don't worry we will try to solve this question only and we will try to find how we can solve even if this is the question so I can say that if I take x minus 1 as t square then I get dx as 2t dt so this question becomes x is t square plus 1 so t square plus 1 plus 2 this is under root t square and at the place of x you write 2t dt so this gives you the idea of t this is t square plus 3 times 2t dt now t t cancel so you have just 2 integration of t square dt plus integration of this now 2 is 2 cancel so 2 times is t square and then 2 times this part is 6 so 6 outside and 1 dt so this becomes 2 t cube over 3 plus 6 t plus c mm, this is 2 by 3 t is nothing but what is t here you see t is x minus 1 to the power half so this becomes x minus 1 to the power 3 by 2 plus 6 t that is x minus 1 to the power half plus c and this is your integral so this is done now i go for question number 18 now question number 18 find the integral of 5x minus 2 over 1 plus 2x plus 3x square dx now this one is again the form of linear over denominators we will assume the same method that is numerator 5x minus 2 is a times differentiation of differentiation of denominator that is 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus b so this becomes a and on differentiation you get this plus 6x plus b and this is 5x minus 2 so we will get 6ax plus 2a 2a plus b and this is 5x minus 6 so 6a is 5 a is 5 over 6 and 2a plus b is minus 6 so 2a plus b is minus 6 and then 2a will be 5 by 3 plus b is minus 6 so b is minus 6 minus 5 by 3 so b is minus 23 over 3 so we got a is 5 by 6 and the b is minus 23 by 6 and then we we'll substitute the numerator by this expression which is the 5x minus 2 is 5 by 6 times a plus 2 plus 6x minus 23 by 3 so this integration now will be broken down into two terms where the first term will be 5 by 6 times that is 2 plus 6x minus 23 over 3 and there you have the denominator 1 plus 2x plus 3x square dx now I divide this into the two differentiation sorry two integrations like this upon this minus this upon this and what you get I just write in the proper order also this is 2 plus 6x over 1 plus 2x plus 3x square dx minus 23 over 3 integration of dx over 1 plus 2x plus 3x square now this one you know that this is just like if you take this is t this is dt so this one's integration is just directly 5 by 6 
log mod 1 plus 2x plus 3x square because if you take this as t 2 plus 6x now see differentiation of 1 plus 2x plus 3x square is 2 plus 6x 2 plus 6x is nothing but the exact differentiation of this 1 plus 2x plus 3x square so it means this is perfectly fitting in the form of integration of this is t and this is dt so 1 over t dt is log mod t and the t is replaced by the value 1 plus 2x plus 3x square this is you got your answer for the this part and the remaining part is 23 by 3 I write here I1 because this is going to be different so my answer is almost there I have to find the integration of I1 and I don't have a space I'll go there and find the integration of I1 so now you see our integrations of integral I1 is 1 over dx upon I write in the proper sequence 3x square plus 2x plus 1 so first I take 1 by 3 common because I want to make the coefficient of x square unity so that I can express this quadratic expression as sum or difference of two squares and that is the form which we have already discussed in the exercise 7.3. So there you see you get dx over, if you just assume that you are dividing this whole expression by 3, so you get x square plus 2 by 3x plus 1 by 3. Now I try to manipulate it as in the form of a plus b whole square or something like that. So what I'll get 1 by 3 integration dx. This term 2 by 3x I have to write this in 2ab form. So 2 into 1 by 3 into x. So it means this one is giving me the form of x plus 1 by 3 whole square. So I have x square there, 2ab it is here. I need plus 1 by 9, I have added extra, so I need to get rid of this 1 by 9 by subtracting 1 by 9 from this remaining 1 by 3. So 1 by 3 minus 1 by 9 and this is 3 by 9, so this is 2 by 9, this is minus, no it's plus, plus under root 2 by 3 whole square, this is the direct form. Now this is going directly in the form of 1 over x square plus a square and this integration is 1 over a tan inverse x by a that is 1 by 3 1 over a that is root 2 by 3 tan inverse this by this so first I simplify this will become 3x plus 1 by 3 upon root 2 by 3 3 3 cancel so you have this 3, 3 also cancelled, so it is 1 by root 2 tan inverse 3x plus 1 over root 2, this is integration i1. Now I have to put the value of this i1 here in this expression, so I just go down and complete the final answer which is 5 by 6 log mod 1 plus 2x plus 3x square minus 23 by 3 times 1 over root 2. So tan inverse 3x plus 1 over under root 2 plus c. And this is i. So this is your final answer. Now I'll go for question number 19. So now this is question number 19, find the integral i of integration 6x plus 7 over under 5x minus 5x minus 4 ds. So you know that these are two linear, if you multiply they will always give you a quadratic form. So I write this as 6 plus 7 over under root x square minus 9x plus 20 ds. So if you differentiate x square 2x and this is 9, so you are not going to get, so we get back to our previous form that is 6x plus 7 is a times d by dx of x square minus 9x plus 20 x square minus 9x plus 20 plus b so this gives you 2x minus 9 times a plus b this is 2ax minus 9a plus b and the form goes like 6x plus 7 so 2a is 6 therefore a is 3 minus 9a plus b is 7 
So A is 3, so minus 27 plus B as 7, so B you are getting as 7 plus 7, that is 34. So our this form becomes uh, here, integration of, at the place of 6x plus 7, I write A, that is 3 times 2x minus 9, 3 times 2x minus 9 plus 34 upon under root x square minus 9x plus 20 ds. The first form is easy because the purpose of this method is always to get the one part that is numerated as the differentiation of the denominator. Differentiation of the quadratic expression that is present inside the denominator. So this part can be really easily integrable but again this remaining second part that with that may take some other form. So first let me write the standard form. So I write this as 3 times 2x minus 9 over under root x square minus 9x plus 20 dx plus 34 integration of dx over x square minus 9x plus 20. Done. So here, if I take this as t, I can get this as dt. So since I don't need to write this, I am taking this as t because already we have expressed this in the form. So, but for understanding, I am writing this as dt over under root t and this part I am writing it as just 34 i1 and this is my i. Because I want to solve this part independently because that is an independent integration. So, i1 is, what is i1? That is dx over x square minus 9x plus 20. Again, this can be expressed as sum or difference of two squares. So, I will go directly this time and I suggest that if you can understand my technique, then that will be quite helpful to you also. So, first this 9x, I am going to write this 2 into 9 over 2 into x. So, it means I have 2ab, it will become x square minus 2 into 9 by 2x. So, I have done anything, I just kept these first two terms as it is. But this one suggests that I have found a square minus 2ab. I have found my b that is 9 by 9 by 2 square I have to add and then 9 by 2 square I have to subtract plus 20. Right? This is the standard form. Now what I am suggesting that instead of because we are in standard 12. I don't need to express this all the time. I can directly write this as first like this. I just break this down as 2ab. I identify that what part I am going to get that is 9 by 2 and this minus sign will tell me whether it is a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square and then finally I will have this term 20 minus whatever this 20 minus whatever is coming here. So I just don't write all these things and let me remove this and I write directly. Then what you will do? I write this as x minus 9 by 2 whole square directly. Why minus? Because this a square minus 2 will be form is going. And then at the end here I will get 20, 20 minus whatever is the square of this. That is 81 by 4. So 20 minus square of this. This is 20. This minus square of this 9 by 2. That is 81 by 4. 420 is a 80 minus 1, this is minus 1 by 4. So I can write this as 1 by 2 whole square. Now I directly got the form. And the form is 1 over x square minus a square. And it says that it's 1 over 2a log mod x minus a over x plus a. So I just write 1 over 2a, that is 1 by 2 log mod x minus 9 by 2 minus half and x minus 9 by 2 plus half. So this becomes log mod x minus 9 by 2 minus 1 by 2, 10 by 2, that is 5, that is minus 5. Over minus 9 by 2 plus half is minus 8 by 2, that is 4, this is x minus 4. So this is my answer. Now I go down at this bottom and then at the place of this i1, I will write 
this value. So let me remove this i1. This is done and 34 log mod x minus 5 over x minus 4 plus c and this is the answer. So this is done. Now I go for question number 20. Now question number 20. Now I would like to go a little faster because it's taking a little longer because I'm trying to explain everything. 4x minus x square. Then what I do that first without wasting your time, let me write this x plus 2 is a times differentiation of this that is directly 4 minus 2x. So 4 differentiation, 4x is 4 and 2x is x square is 2x plus b. Then compare minus 2a x plus 4a plus b that is x plus 2. So minus 2a is 1 and 4a plus b as 2. So a is minus half. If minus 2a is 1 then minus 4a will be 2 and then the 4a will be minus 2. So minus 2 plus b is 2. So b you are getting it as 4. So this form directly becomes minus 1 by 2 4 minus 2x plus 4 upon under root 4x minus x square dx. Then this becomes minus 1 by 2 4 minus 2x upon under root 4x minus x square dx plus under root 4 upon under root 4x minus x square dx. So now if I take this minus 2, this part as t, then I get this dt. So what I get here, dt over under root t plus this part 4 over under root this 4 minus 4x minus x square 4x minus x square if we write minus 4 and minus 4 here like this I added 4 here and subtracted 4 here and if I just write this like 4 minus so this becomes 4 minus 4x minus x square sorry plus x square and there you see that this is 2 square, so this is nothing but x minus 2 whole square. So I get 4x minus 2 whole square. So this term is directly in the form of 2 square minus x minus 2 whole square dx. Now I let me clear that part of the screen. So now I have to find integration of this is integration of this. So this is uh, integration of t to the power minus half so this gives me always t to the power half upon half and this is minus half plus this is 4 and here this one directly gives me a form of 1 over under a square minus x square that is directly sine inverse x minus 2 upon 2 plus c. So this half of cancel this is minus at the place of t you write this one that is under root 4x minus x square plus 4 sine inverse x minus 2 upon 2 plus c. This is your final answer. Now question number 21. Find the integration of x plus 2 over square root of x square plus 2x plus 3 dx. So now if you differentiate this you see that this is if you just take like I have to in the examination they ask you to write this in this form x plus 2 as a times differentiation of this that is 2x plus 2 plus b. So 2ax plus 
2a plus b that is x plus 2 so 2a is 1 2a is 1 and a is half and the 2a plus b equal to 2 but 2a is 1 so 1 plus b is 2 therefore b is also 1 so this integration becomes at the place of x you write this half times 2x plus 2 half times 2x plus 2 plus 1 now you can verify half times 2x plus 2 is x plus 1 plus 1 is x plus 2 over under root x square plus 2x plus 3 dx so now we write this as half integration of 2x plus 2 upon under root x square plus 2x plus 3 dx plus 1 over under root x square plus 2x plus 3 dx so if you take this as t then you are getting in the form of 1 by 2 again same thing under root t so i am writing directly because this always gives me the answer as again should i explain you that gives you 1 over under root t so integration of this gives you 2 root t so integration i am writing directly 2 under root because we have done this part many times x square plus 2x plus 3 plus this part is yet to integrate and here I can write this as dx over under root I can write this as x plus 1 whole square so you are getting my b is 1 so this is 3 minus 1 that is 2 so plus under root 2 whole square now this is in the form of 1 over under root x square plus a square its integration is 1 or log mod x plus this so let me complete the whole expression here so this gives you under root x square plus 2x plus 3 and this gives you log mod x plus 1 plus under root if I expand because I have to write the whole thing x plus 1 whole square plus root 2 whole square now plus c so in the next line or I can do here only at the place of this whole I can write this whole thing so let me remove this part because this part is nothing but this part so this part is gone from here and I have x square plus 2x plus 3 plus c and this is your final answer now question number 22 so this i is integration of x plus 3 over x square minus 2x minus 5 dx same method x plus 3 is a times differentiation of this is 2x minus 2 x square differentiation is 2x and 2x differentiation is 2 plus b then you get 2ax minus 2a plus b that is x plus 3 so 2a is 1 and equal to 3 so a is half and 2a is 1 so minus 2 is minus 1 plus b is 3 so b is 4 so this gives you a which is half times 2x minus 2 plus b which is 4 over x square minus 2x minus 5 ds so this is half 2x minus 2 over x square minus 2x minus 5 dx plus 4 dx over x square minus 2x minus 5 
So now if this is your t, this is dt, so you get log mod t. In the question number 19, I believe, I don't remember what I did, but I felt that if at the place of this dt upon t, because in all these exercises we are uh, finding two kind of condition, either we get integration of dt over root t, if this given expression is in square root, just like this, or if it is not in the square root, then we get dt by t. In the question number 19, question number 19 is, yeah, it's given in terms of a square root, but I don't know exactly because this is the video, we cannot pause the video in between. I think that I have made a mistake here. If that is a mistake, I request you all to correct it. So if you have square root of this, then on integration this, this gives us always 2 root t plus c and this gives you log mod t plus c. So in question number 19, again right here, if by mistake I have written this value, then at the place of the first integrand, you need to write like this. And I hope you understand how we are getting like this. If not, then again I am going. Like i is integration of 1 over root t dt, right? Then root t can be written as t to the power half. So 1 over t to the power half dt. And then this one is t to the power minus half dt like this. Now integrand. So this is t to the power minus half plus 1 over minus half plus 1 and this gives you t to the power half over half. This half goes up becomes 2 and this becomes root t. So this is the question. Again I am reminding you that check in the question number 19 and if you have this part, suppose if by mistake I have written log, then for that part you correct and make it as 2 root t. Thank you very much and now I need to clear this part of the screen so that I can write the answer of this part. So here this one's answer is i equals integration of this is half log mod x square minus 2x minus 5 plus 4 integration of dx over this I can write this as x minus 1 whole square like x square minus 2 is we need plus 1 so minus 5 minus 1 is under root 6 square so now expand this you can see x square there minus 2x there then you get plus 1 and the minus 6 that's minus 5 is there now this is directly coming in the form so this is my final answer 1 by 2 log mod x square minus 2x minus 5 plus 4 1 over 2a that is 4 over 2 root 6 log mod x minus 1 minus root 6 and then x minus 1 plus root 6 plus c so this is my final answer and here i want to write this 4 by 2 root 6 so i can write this 2 over root 6 or also you can leave it here because they say that 4 over 2 root 6 can be written as 2 over root 6 and that is root 2 root 2 over root 2 root 3 is cancelled so this is root 2 by 3 so at the place of this I better write root 2 by 3 this is the answer so this question I is 5x plus 3 over under root x square plus 4x plus 10 dx. So same procedure 5x plus 3 is 8 times 2x plus 4x square differentiation 2x force is 4 plus 10 2ax plus 4a plus 10 
5 x plus 3 2 a is 5 a is 5 by 2 4 a plus 10 equals 3 2 a is 5 so 4 a is 10 sorry this is not 10 this is b b 4 a plus b so 10 plus b equals 3 so b is minus 7 so our integration now becomes 5x plus 3 so 2ax so 5x here a means 5 by 2 times 2x plus 4 and b is minus 7 over under root x square plus 4x plus 10 dx so now this is 5 by 2 2x plus 4 over under root x square plus 4x plus 10 dx minus 7 times dx over under root this x square plus 4x plus 10 so x square plus 4x plus 10 now this is 5 by 2 you can integrate this this is directly going into the form of same root 2 so this is 2 root x square plus 4x plus 10 minus 7 this one I can write this as dx again by square sum or difference of 2 square so as I can write this as x plus 2 whole square so x square plus 4x plus 4 this is 10 so we need 6 that is root 6 square now verify x square plus 4x plus 6 10 is fine so this becomes 5 under root x square plus 4x plus 10 minus 7 log mod x plus 2 plus under root this whole thing and which is nothing but x square plus 4x plus 10 plus c so this question is also solved now i go for remaining two questions question number 24 it goes like i is dx over x square plus 2x plus 2 so you can write this directly as dx as x plus 1 whole square plus 1 square and its integration is tan inverse x plus 1 by 1 1 by 1 it means this is the answer this is done so this i is dx over under root 9x minus 4x square then you can write this as 9x minus 4x square better you take minus 4 common you get x square minus 9 by 4x then you write minus 4 x minus 9 by 8 whole square and then since last term is 0 0 minus square of this that is 9 by 8 whole square this is the form directly now this minus i have to compensate because in the square root of minus we don't need this so we write 4 9 by 8 whole square minus x minus 9 by 8 whole square so 1 by 4 outside and this becomes dx over 9 by 8 whole square minus x minus 9 by 8 whole square and there is a square root also so this becomes dx over under root a square minus x square that gives you sine inverse x so there is 1 by 9 sine inverse this upon this so let me simplify this becomes 
8x minus 9 over 8 and then this is 9 over 8 I can say 8 8 from all sides so this is the answer I is 1 by 9 sine inverse 8x minus 9 over 9 plus C so we have finished this exercise 7.4 in the previous videos like in the starting from question number 17 then i think i started then by mistake it was 7.3 written there so later i corrected this is 7.4 so if there is any mistake then at least just be bothered little go into the exercise and check which exercise is actually this kind of responsibility i expect from all of my viewers thank you very much just subscribe to our channel and keep practicing otherwise Watching this video is not going to help unless you practice. Thank you very much.